Hello, in this video I will talk about uh, how to <coughs> solve the problem that uh, WordPress cannot send email by using its uh, default uh, contact form. So, in that case, uh, normally it is because the uh, hosting server blocks the uh, uh, php.ini mail function. So, you need using SMTP uh, plugin to send and receive email. So, in this video, I will show you how to use a plugin to do that. We uh, I used to install the w, uh, WP mail SMTP, but this one is not free for uh, Microsoft. Uh, 365's email server. So we are using a free plugin. That name, the name is uh, Fluent SMTP. This one is free for Microsoft 365. That's why I'm using this uh, plugin. So we'll. Uh, show you step by step how to do that. You need, uh, basically, you need uh, uh, set up a connector. So let's uh, activate. So basically, you need to set up a, a connector in uh, Microsoft 365. <coughs> let's uh, go to the setting first. Because I uh, already uh, inside uh, WMS MTP, so it asks me import data. I want to import. Now we have an option here for Microsoft 365 of Outlook. Okay, so we click that, and from here you need a uh, insert from email. That's the email address that uh, you need to input uh, uh, Microsoft 365 email address. Phone name. Okay. And now you can find here, click the document. It will show you how to set up the connector. Okay, we are in the, these steps. So from email we already input. And now we need to ask the 365 our Outlook to get the application client ID. Now, uh, from the document, you have a link. Just click the link and uh, go to uh, Microsoft Azure's. Now you need to log in to the same email address. Okay, so if you are uh, Microsoft 365 admin, you also need using the same email, not the admin email. Okay. <coughs> Now, let's go back to here. It has asked your search up registrations. Let's search it. App registrations. Now we Click New Registration. If you don't have the uh, permission to do the application, you need to uh, go to your admin account to grant you have the registration 
permission. Okay, then you follow the introduction step by step to copy the front ID, and then at the end you you will generate uh, access code, and uh, then it will ask you approve that. So approve that you need using the same email address as you put in, in the front email. You need to log in to the same email address to approve that. Okay? After that you can save connection and uh, do a email test. So it's a pretty straight uh, straightforward uh, the document uh, show you how to do that step by step. So if if it's not working, you can send me a message. I will help you to find the solution. Okay, hope you enjoy this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.